Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. I'll just say quickly at the beginning of the video, I hope my voice carries through was clear enough for you. It's a little bit sore at the moment because I think I'm warding off a cold at the moment. So it might be a little bit croaky, but please bear with me. I just wanted to share an order that I got through last week, which was from the faceplace.com.au or like Bayonel products from Yanu Skin Salad Range. Again, I'll put all the details down below or wherever the, the bar is now, so down below. And I also took close-up shots of each of the items before I opened the packs because I've got two packs, a gift set which I'll show you and a travel pack which I'll get to in a moment. But yeah, I, before and after shots are, are on my blog which is below as well, the link to that post. Now the first one I'll get to is the gift set and I got four items, grab these, which are these ones and they're all as I see in the green apple range. So you get a, a green apple shower gel a body lotion, a body spritzer, and a little miniature body scrub. Hmm. Now Australian dollars, I think it was about 13 odd dollars AU, and these aren't really the full size. I don't, I'm not sure about the body lotion, but I don't think the, yeah, the shower gel wasn't the full size, for example. I just wanted to actually test out the range. I've never tried the skin salad range before. I actually hadn't heard about it until I clicked on it. I just wanted to know what skin salad. When I saw it was had green apples, I was very, very happy. I was so excited to try it. I've been trying for the longest time to find just the green apple scent. I didn't think it would be too hard, but I found most of the times I'm getting green apple products, they're mixed with other scents, for example, lemon or lime, ginger, lily or honeysuckle or something else, which I find ultimately overpowers the green apple. There's a lot of products, green apple, or sorry, apple, red, green, whatever is normally like a base. So mm, I just wanted that green apple scent and sure enough found this range so I was very happy. Now I'll quickly mention the, the spritzer first so I'll go through each thing. This is the body spritzer. It's 160 mils. That one. And again probably because it's just mainly water and a little bit of scent it doesn't last that long. It lasts a couple of hours but it gives a nice refreshing mist but it's really not really really nice. I actually, the first day I was using it, I thought I was spraying apple juice on me because I just had that, that's what I'm used to because I haven't been able to find body spritzes with apple, but it is so nice. So I really do feel refreshed and relaxed when I actually use it. I haven't had any reaction to using the product. Uh, the only, I suppose, downside is, although the order came through within basically a day that it was processed, which is really good, and that was within Australia though, of course, uh, it actually leaked, the body spritz are leaked in it. Now, it is a gift set, so all four items were sort of sitting in a little tray in the PVC box. It was great, it didn't leak into the rest of the box, only within the little box. But because it was lined with a little cardboard, I suppose, print with green apples on it, it actually soaked through the cardboard, so I couldn't keep the packaging. And I think the ingredient listing must have been on that because they're not printed on the bottles. So that was a bit of a downer as well as in the tray, I believe the little like glue was used to hold it in place. I don't know if you can see it. It was really gooey and tacky in the tray because of that. It must have been sitting in the body spritzer. So if it was intended for a gift, it would have been a shame. It was basically ruined, the packaging at least, but the products were fine. Um, and this one only lost a couple of mils, I suppose. So I wasn't, I wasn't fussed at all by that. But like I said, if it was a gift, it was a bit of a downer. But I love it. Next thing is the green apple body lotion. This is a decent size. This is 200 mils. I haven't opened this one because I've used the other one in the other pack, which I'll get to soon. Screw top, and obviously haven't opened it. Again, no, no ingredients on there. One other thing: some people may not like this. I actually do like it, but some people might think the labelling looks uh, cheap because they are just the clear little tubs or bottles with uh, a clear printed label with obviously the picture stuck on. I love it because I can reuse these products uh, or the, the packaging of course. Instead of having to scrub off a, a thick sticker or a print, I can just take the stickers off. So I like that, but like I said, some people may not like that. Uh, the next thing is the shower gel. Again, it's just got the little sticker on the front and no ingredients. Now this isn't the full size, this is only 120 mils, the full size is about 200 or 250 mils. This has just got a little uh, screw top 
and unfortunately no sort of stopper or anything like that so if you do drop this in the shower which will probably happen you will lose a little bit of product but it is fairly fairly thick viscous and it's slightly tinted green just very very slightly and again beautiful green apple scent so when you get out of the shower you do smell like a big green apple so which may not be so good for some people but I love it um, the only thing I've found with this because I'm used to my shower gels at least the ones I use my Lux, my Red Wind, um, all my other scented ones and my Palomar ones they all lather up or they soap up or foam up this doesn't foam up at all. I tried for like four days straight using it um, and I just couldn't get it to lather. I'm making now though, on the website it says it's a gentle shower gel. Maybe it's more like um, like my QV, which is a little bit like Cetaphil if anyone's used the soap-free body washes. It's more like a cleanser, so it's not really soaping up as so much as cleansing. So it might be like that, but it does, you do smell like apple, so I'm not disappointed by the product. But I probably won't be um, when you got repurchasing the full size, I just keep going with this one until it's all gone. Mm -hmm. And obviously, the fourth item was the little mini body scrub. I don't really use these ones. It's cute. Oops. Now, my favorite one is the travel pack. You'll see why. There it is, it came with that little label around it, and you got this cute little travel bag with the products inside. Now, I believe you can buy the bags by themselves. And it's just got the cute green apple print on it, so you can wipe that down. Fairly decent size, so you can use this to keep your lotions in. That's what I'm going to do. So you can get that right there and etc. When you're traveling, that's cute. Now inside there, it was just uh, shredded cellophane, and you got the three little tubs. Now there was a body lotion, a body butter, and a body scrub look fairly identical from the, from a distance and again these are just the little clear tubs with a thick stickery thing on the front so again it looks like I can reuse these so I'm happy with that and then just little screw tops like that. Whoop, and it just had a bit of foil over the top now this is the body butter and again I took close up photos on the blog and this is oops that's the body scrub Looks basically like the body lotion with um, little beads in it. And mix those up. Body lotion. Which is really weird because the body lotion, on first glance, looks exactly like the body butter. Normally you can see a difference, like the body lotion is a little bit less dense, or the body butter looks more buttery or creamy, or it's more tacky or something like that. But I kept confusing them when I was first using them. I thought I was using the same product. They're both a thick, creamy consistency. When you apply them to the skin, they're both slightly tacky. They feel identical. They rub in identical, dry in the same amount of time, etc. I got my husband to try it as well, poor guy, because I thought I was going crazy, but they feel exactly the same. But I'm glad I kept this. It's where the ingredients are on the, um, the travel pack. There's about three different ingredients between the body butter and the body lotion, so they are obviously different, different things. But it was just really weird. I might have to read the website to see what the, the difference is. Um, I'm not a chemist, so I can't really understand the difference between um, some of these products. I can't even pronounce the products, so I won't try. But, yeah, they just look exactly the same, feel the same. So, But beautiful creamy consistency, dry nicely on the skin. A little bit of, I wouldn't say sticky residue is slightly, I don't know how to describe it, like a little bit of tacky residue is sort of left when you use it on the skin but you're left with that nice green apple scent so that is the bonus and I think that's a fairly decent size 90 mils as well like I said the full size is probably about 200 250 but I probably won't need to repurchase uh, the body lotion because I've got it in the the other pack as well so that's a lot down the track I might try and repurchase the body butter the full size just to see if there is a difference maybe it was just that one I don't know now the body scrub um, this is unlike any sort of body scrub I've ever used. I don't know. It's got the little beads. But to me, it's just like a less creamier version of the body lotion with the little beads in it. Uh, I'm probably just biased because a lot of the exfoliants or scrubs I've used in the shower have been more like um, gels, which have the jelly gel beads or the little um, 
granules in it so it's it's like a slight leather but it's like a cream and it just you feel like the scrubbing actions going on or like uh, the consistency of oatmeal if that makes sense in my more organic sort of body scrubs this actually felt like I was putting on conditioner onto my skin like it just feels like you know that thick conditioner sort of feeling with little beads in it and I actually felt it was slicking all over my skin like it wasn't really contacting with my skin to scrub as so much as sliding all over my skin. I only use this a couple of days because I don't use scrubs every single day but um, I have to keep trying with that one but I'm sort of 50-50 with the body scrub so but I don't think I will be repurchasing that one but overall I am really happy with the packs and I'm looking forward to actually using the little bag but yes please check out that website or obviously my blog I have more photos and details on there again leave any uh, feedback for me and please remember to thumbs up or or like or whatever the new term is now but yep take care everyone hope you enjoyed